Hello and welcome to Game Soup Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is Joe. And this is Ed. I just introduced that like an old timey radio host. It's a pretty good intro, huh? That's what you were going for, right? Yeah. The old timey radio host? Oh yeah, I was gonna say uh, The Binding of I Love You as the start of the episode. But you didn't. Yeah, I did it at another... Oh. I did it on another episode Whoa. that we recorded earlier tonight, which uh, may be the uh, following part of this one. Maybe. It's gonna not make any sense. See, it's gonna be, it's really hard to do it like that. That's alright. The way we were describing earlier. It happens all the time in film media. So I heard that, yeah, well, so Ed over here was talking about how it's uh, starting to sleep in a nearby town. Well, it's a pretty far away town, but it's in our same state. It's starting to sleep recently, in the last hour or so. And I, I was saying, like, every time I, he every time I hear anybody say snow sleep, I'm, I just leave. Wherever I am, I just leave. <laughs> You know? Even if you're in a I place get, where there's no danger, yeah, yeah, I just got, I gotta go. <laughs> even if, even if I'm at home, I'm I'm at home. I'm cuddled up. I'm drinking some hot chocolate. I'm watching uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender on uh, on the television, <laughs> and I'm just you know, and, and it starts sleeping outside. I go outside, I get in my car, and I just start driving. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Oh, uh, yeah. But I love it. I love the idea. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm, that's, that. I'm just scared of sleep, you know? Just, well, you it should. It just makes me leave. You should be. <laughs> leave wherever I am. You should be. Why Avatar, of all shows? I don't know. Just the first show I thought of. <laughs> you know, I just finished watching Korra. Yeah, you were telling me about it. I'm, I'm, I'm not caught up, so uh, don't don't spoil the... No spoilers? Uh, but I... Uh, yeah, we've been watching a lot of movies. We haven't been watching these cartoons lately. These shows or, yeah. or like TV shows or cartoons or we've been watching movies instead. Yeah, so I've been all... really into Korra and Avatar lately, but not not so many movies. You've seen a lot of movies recently. Uh -huh. Yeah, we saw that Snowpiercer. How about how we do a little segment where I review all the movies that I've seen recently? Go for it. I've been catching up on movies. So we saw that Snowpiercer. I, I saw that too. That was fan. I thought it was great. I thought it was a really good movie. Kind of yeah. weird. Yeah, I, I like I like weird movies and like it was pretty violent. It was pretty violent. And it, the way you, I think the way you know a movie was good is if you uh, if you if you think about it for like the next day or even like you know weeks after or even. Or it sticks in your brain forever, even after you've only seen it once. But yeah. but you know it's it's at least a pretty good movie if you think about it the next day. Right. And then we, I was thinking about it, I, I couldn't sleep because I kept thinking about how that train could have been organized. Really? Okay. Yeah, I kept thinking like, wh where were all the middle class residential trains? Because they didn't really run through any of that. They ran through a bunch of party trains and restaurant trains and stuff like that. Trains, cars, train cars. Where, but I was just wondering where all the residential people live. But I thought it would be a pretty boring movie if they went through all those cars. So that's probably why they didn't show it. But yeah. I was just imagining. And also, to get anywhere in this train, you would have to have... To get anywhere, you have to go through all the other places. So how do they keep the kids out of, like, the club trains? So I was thinking... You know, I'm not going to be able to remember. I had it all figured out in my head, though, how it would have been laid out. So it goes the locomotive, right? The the engine in the front. Mm -hmm. Then it goes like the like that steam room, and then then you would probably have like at this point, I think it would be like that would probably be where like the club trains would be, where where the kids aren't allowed to go, because then it keeps them out of uh, they would never go that far, right? Right. Yeah, they would never go that close to the locomotive. So that would be where all like the party trains are and all the the adult stuff or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. That would be where all those those trains would be. Then it would go like to to other fun things, but more family oriented things. And then okay. it would go to residential middle class trains. Okay. Okay. Then behind that would be um, would be like the work trains. Like where the resident where the middle class people work, and then behind that is like where they process all the bugs and stuff. That's where, like, the lower class people might work. And then behind that is, like, you know, where the heroes of the story start. I can't believe back. you thought this so much I, about it. So I figured it, I kind of figured it out all in my head how, how a good layout for a Snowpiercer train would be. So what you're saying is you're going to... I'm building a Snowpiercer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. 
I knew it. <laughs> I just thought of it. That explains that giant train in your backyard. Did you know? When did you know I was going to say it? Because you might have known I was going to say it before I did. Because no, I just I, thought of saying it like a second before I said it. I think we thought it at the same time. Yeah, probably. I was like, what's, <laughs> so what's I'm the building a, response? So I'm building a snow piercer. I mean, because you just described it in more detail than it's ever explained in the movie. Yeah. You really did. I really thought about it a lot. Yeah, it, the, the movie was... It was... It was a, a little a little disturbing, I guess. I mean, it's uh, I've seen some kind of weird, disturbing type of movies before. Yeah. But um, it, it, it really got, it got me thinking, and there was there was a lot to really a lot a lot to consider, as far as well, as far as far as things go. And what I thought was uh, a th one of the themes of the movie that kind of uh, hit me. Yeah. Hit me. <laughs> are you are you close enough to the mic here? I think so, yeah. All right. One of the themes that, that hit me was, uh, screw the kids, you know? That's great... the, the whole thing, the whole movie, the whole train was on the on the back of the kids. Right. Right. They were the ones that were responsible for everything. Yeah, they, they, there was, like, well, at least two kids that took the place. Of, oh, wait, I shouldn't be, like, spoiling. Whatever. Well... Spoilers ahead. Actually, that wasn't really a spoiler, was it? No, but we're gonna get into. I spoiler. almost spoiled it, but, but let's do it. But that's kind of. Uh, if you don't want to be spoiled, hit the mute button now. Yeah, give us like. Uh, I won't spoil anything. But that's oh, okay. one of the themes: is that they don't, they don't, uh, they don't respect kids, which is like, which is how it is today in the real in in our lives in the real world. Right. It's still it's still legal in a lot of countries to hit kids. Yeah, it's they, call it, up. they call it spanking, or some, some people will call it like a whooping. Yeah. Even, even Obama was joking about it one really? time. Like, yeah, he. I don't. I don't remember where it was from, but it was either an interview or maybe a speech or something where he he said oh, nothing wrong with a good whooping. No, he didn't say he that. He said something like that. Maybe it wasn't nothing wrong with it, but he joked about whooping a kid. That's messed up. Yeah, it's really messed up. So some people still think that it's okay to hit oh. kids. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised like, that uh, you know, that's so common. It's illegal in in a lot of a lot of countries. Yeah, why especially not, in Europe. Why not here? It's because it's, it's weird. Be. It's it's this, this culture is, is behind. I guess in North American culture is behind Europe in that way. I guess it's very strange. All right, but that was yeah. That was one of the. I think that was the most outstanding theme of the movie for me. That's the thing that I think uh, was the most, I don't want to say interesting, but it was the, it was, uh, you know, it got me think. it got me thinking the most, I think. Besides, well, maybe besides the layout of the, tra of the train, that, because, you know, I want to build one. Or I am building one. I've built one. <laughs> I've already, uh, I've already tested it out on some tracks, some local SEPTA tracks. SEPTA is our local train. Whoa, that's a lot of, wh what did you use to get that? A soul converter? I converted all my red hearts into gray hearts. Why is that better? It's not better. It's not better. Can you reuse it? No, you Why would I have done that? Then? Maybe it swaps them. It probably swaps them around. The reds for the grays. Yeah. Whoops. That sounds like a bad idea. I guess that'd be good if you weren't this character. As you might say in Hearthstone. Whoops. Whoops. Well played. So Snowpiercer, I thought it was a good movie. I give it an A. Definitely see it. If you haven't seen it. Go screw yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I was I was just saying, see it if if you haven't seen it. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, yeah, yeah, screw yourself. No, no, if screw you haven't you. seen it, go see it because it's really good. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a it's a game soup recommends. It was definitely the sleeper hit of the sleeper hit of the year, as far as I know. Was it sleeper? It didn't do well in the theater. I don't think so. Oh, jeez. I only saw it on DVD. Gertrude just set off the fire alarm. Yeah, the fire alarm's going off. No, it was uh, all the burlap sacks that I full of pine needles that I've been keeping. You brought them here. Around. I thought you left them in the attic. Well, I brought a few over. You know, I got so many of them. You just brought a few over. Yeah, burlap Jesus. sacks full of pine needles. Burlap sacks full of pine needles. We should just make that other one a short episode so that it's still in, in con continuity, you know? Okay. Because now we're talking about things we talked about in that episode, which I knew was going to happen. I knew we were going to talk about burlap sacks full of pine needles again. <laughs> you knew? <laughs> How could anyone know that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Whoa, 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 whoa! So, uh, another movie that I saw was called Nightcrawler, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. You saw that? Yeah. I heard it was really, really, really good. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah, I liked it. It was another one that I was... I'm, I'm watching all the, like, all the top movies that I didn't see. 
yet. The top films of 2014? Yeah. Stuff that came out mostly in 2014. Oh, no! Did you yeah, like I, I, thought it, I thought it was pretty great. It's, uh... It's, it's interesting, because in the beginning, you don't really know what to think about the main character, and it kind of give It's kind of a mystery for maybe four minutes, and then you figure out uh, that he has a, a, a disorder. Oh, is it like a... Uh, an and what's it called? Unreliable narrator? Unstable narrator? There's a there's a literary device I'm not sure. th that is that. Ugh, range down. Didn't seem to do anything. Nah, you probably have the minimum range already. In fact. What's this literary device? Yeah, I do. It's a uh, unreliable narrator. Where you, you go into a piece of Whoa, it's Bomberman. Yeah, it sure is. Where you go into a, a, a book or a film. Uh, the book that what I read that fear? did it was called Turn of the Screw. And it's it's basically where yeah you, know, you have these conceptions he about, it. He about the, the main bomb just like Bomberman does. He's, he he is Bomberman. Look at him. Yeah, but I was uh, just saying that like he he attacks like Bomberman. The room was laid out like a Bomberman stage. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, go on about this literary device. And uh, you know it's it's designed to make you think one thing about the main character, and then there's a twist that you don't see coming. And oh, it's not it's not that. Oh, okay. Ah. He has a he has a mental disorder. What is he gay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna edit that out. But it's uh, it's I don't yeah I don't really want to spoil too much about it. You find out like most of the stuff within the first, you know, the first twenty or thirty minutes of the movie. Okay. But but it's uh, it's really it's really interesting. It's really interesting. Milk. Damage down. I don't think it's gonna do anything except take my damage down. So that's another one to see. I, I don't know. So that's another A, I guess. It's a good oh, one. It's one how, of the better movies of the, of the year. Look how fast I can shoot now. You just keep mashing it? Yeah, it's like a raven here. Oh. So another movie oh, yeah, okay. that I saw. So wait, before you go on, you you did like it, is, is your, your message here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... I'm telling you, yeah, these are... I'm talking about the top movies. These are top-rated movies. Okay. So, they're pretty much all gonna be... Go see them. Okay. Is there, do you have any other questions about Nightcrawler, the movie starring Jake Gyllenhaal? Is there a twist? Uh... A twist. Or is it... Is it action? Is it action? No, or no. Like drama? Not really. Thriller? Thriller? Uh, not really. What, 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 what type of film is it then? Uh, I don't know. It's a it's a movie about a a guy. He he's like he's really you, you think you you think he, he's a guy who's like really he really wants work. Mhm. Mm and uh, you think he's like really smart. You're like, why doesn't this guy have a job? But uh, you kind of realize why, and he uh, he does get a job, and it's. I don't know. I guess drama. Okay. It probably falls in the drama category. It's a, it's an interesting movie. A lot of the time, uh, I was thinking like a lot of TV shows nowadays are like shot like movies, and there's really very little difference between the quality of a lot of movies and and TV shows. Yeah, like, that's the, true. The only time it really shows is in a big budget movie where there's something like where there's a lot of CG effects and stuff. Yeah. Like uh, the Marvel movies or the Transformers movies, which we're big fans of on this on this Game Soup no, channel. No, 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 no. Only you. And so those you can obvi you can obviously tell those those are movies. But a movie like Nightcrawler could have very well just been like a miniseries on TV. Really? Yeah. Just like the way it's shot, like a very well shot and very well directed movie. Like right. basically, like Breaking Bad is pretty much that. You know. Like, right, I would right. compare, like, Breaking Bad is uh, about, you know, about the quality of Nightcrawler, in my opinion. I'm not the best judge of movies and television. I don't work in that industry. And I don't even, I don't even watch that many movies compared to a lot of people. I've played a lot more video games than, than movies, than watched movies. Same. So I wonder if that smoke alarm is coming in the microphone. Most likely it is. Oh, I'm I'm certain that it is. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, so somebody is in the in the uh, they 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 run a cooking show in the studio next to ours. I thought I thought it was Gertrude. In fact, I told the viewers that it was. Oh, Gertrude. was it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe not. That's both. <laughs> what well, just happened? Reusable tear burst. That's pretty sweet. 
I'm even gonna die though. Yeah, this is not going well. It's because I got tears down. And I'm dead. You wanna do another one? Sure. Continue then. I would love to hear more about the movies of 2014. I was gonna I was gonna just do one more. I don't wanna bore everybody with just doing movie review. They they right. tuned in to see Binding of Isaac, so we you know we should talk about the binding of Isaac. But first, I wanna right. review one, a movie called uh, called Frank. Frank. You ever heard of this movie? It's just called Frank. I haven't heard of it. Yeah. It gets an F. <laughs> for Frank? For Frank. Uh, okay. What yeah, kind of film is it? It gets an F for Frank. And because it sucks. <laughs> it's really, it's not a good movie. Don't see it. What is it? Don't, don't be, don't support this one. Don't, don't spend the $4 to rent this one on your online video service or go to Red, Redbox and rent it for... For, you say you're only going to rent it one night, but, you know, you, you just keep it because you don't want to go out. And How about... You wound up paying $7 <laughs> to see a bad movie called Frank. Frank. How about Piracy? You recommend it? No. Not don't, even. don't, don't, don't even, don't even download it for free. It's not even worth your time. No, it's, uh... It's one of these, uh, you know, art type, uh, art, art sort of movies. Oh. It's about, like, a bunch of scumbags who are in a band. And one of them has a mental disorder. <laughs> All right. And he wears like a, a a hat, like a helmet. Is he like okay. a, a helmet that's like a guy's face? I don't know. It's it's a weird movie, but it's not my kind of weird. Did you sit through the whole thing? Yeah. It has a uh, I don't know, sort of a twist ending, and where he's actually a genius. No. But. If you're like, see, I hate to use the word hipster, <laughs> you know, I don't want it because that's got negative connotations and there could be somebody who would enjoy this that's not a hipster, but it's like, if you're in, I, oh, here's what else, if you're into like indie rock, if you're just like into indie bands and weird bands, mm -hmm. you might enjoy it. Okay. That doesn't sound that bad. And sounds... there's like some levels of, uh, I don't know, there's things to think about, but I, I hated every character in it. Even the like the main character, who's who's like the only nice guy in the movie. I, I kind of just hated everybody. I didn't, I didn't like it. Like even the minor. Like I hated every. Like there was nothing. That, there was nothing for me to like in the movie. Wow. Because usually, right. usually in a in a movie like where everybody's evil, you know, you you might like find something to even something to like about some of the characters, you know. Right. But not this time. Nah. I guess it's not everybody's uh, cup of tea, so to speak. So don't see it. <laughs> don't see it. <laughs> I don't think you would like it. I won't like it, probably no. not. I guess I more like movies that you like. So if you don't like it, I'll stay. They yeah, like the Transformers movies, which we, uh, we talk about sometimes on this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're pretty much cartoons. They're, they're approaching uh, cartoons yeah. because they don't well, have any real actors. I like cartoons, so... Yeah, but you like good cartoons. And yeah, mostly good ones. They're not good cartoons. They're not watching even good. Afro Samurai again. Obviously. Yeah, like you know what's good, man. You like Cowboy Bebop, and you like Avatar. But yeah, those are some of my favorite shows. Transformers, come on. I don't know. I never watched. I only watched the movies, not the cartoons. What movies? The Transformers movies, not the cartoons of Transformers. Uh, like the old ones. I'm sure they're terrible, though. You ever seen uh, any yeah. of those old cartoons, like Ghostbusters or Thundercats? They're horrible. No, but my brother-in-law was uh, was a big fan of like the Transformers TV show, and I think he was a kid when you know those things were big, Thundercats or whatever. But you're about the same age as him. Yeah, I was a big fan of Thunder. I mean, I was a big fan of Thundercats when I was four. I don't even know. I don't <laughs> know what not... Thundercats is. Well, I, obviously it's some sort of TV show, but that's all I know. Yeah, it's really bad. Oh, it's a real bad show. Shot speed plus damage. Yeah, most of those old kids' cartoons are really bad. Like some of them, some of the some of these shows you can watch as an adult. Like, I wonder what that does. I don't know. It costs you all you die. Know, get it? Die, yeah, I don't get it. Must be great. Some of those shows, like Animaniacs. Oh, what a great classic. show! Yeah, Batman uh, the animated series. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, but I didn't those, watch that. Like. Ghostbusters Extreme. You were just about to say Ghostbusters Extreme. I, I've seen. I think I've seen every episode of Extreme Ghostbusters. I liked it. Yeah. That's. Cool. I don't know if I would like it now, but. Who knows? Whoa. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, I used to have a thing I used to say. 
<laughs> no, I don't. It's, uh, I used to have a thing I used to say about the characters in that, oh, yeah? that every character was disabled. <laughs> Only one of them, well, one of the characters was in a wheelchair, yeah, right? Yeah, Garrett. Garrett. I but... still remember the characters' names. Well, anyway. Anyway, so you were going to say they're all disabled? Yeah, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. Oh, is it culturally insensitive? It emanates purity. I don't know what that does. So, uh, Gary the Landscaper. What, what about him? Yeah, I, I hired him. <laughs> <laughs> to landscape? Yeah, sorry. I, I, I know I should have run it by you earlier, but I, oh. I, I hired... You remember we were talking about... We were talking to Gary? Yeah. The other day? Yeah, our, our, our office. The office building that the studio's in. There's, it's really bad out there. It's, uh, it's, there, was, there was, like... It was just ugly. It was just a bunch of dirt. Like, where there used to be landscaping, and it just wasn't kept up by the previous owners of the, the office building. And we checked with Chuck, the owner of the building, and he was like, Sure, if you, if you want to put the money forward and hire somebody, that'd be great. Yeah, I've make, never even met Chuck. Bring up the prop, property value, and he was like, You know what? I'll give you I'll give you guys a free month of rent if you do a good job. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I was just talking about him actually on the phone on the way here, uh, making deals, you know. That's awesome. I've never met Chuck. So Gary, yeah, Gary's the landscaper and Spider Revenge. Alright, that sounds great. We'll have to get him on the show. Which do we want? Fork? Are you playing this with the keyboard? What do you mean? No, I'm using a controller, you can see. Yeah, I was thinking about something that might screw up... Screw up playing the game with the keyboard. Here, why, why don't I just, uh... I'll, I'll, do, you, I'll do one. Why don't you play? I'll do one. You, you should probably be a different... Well, it's up to you. I don't, yeah, I don't really like this guy. Let me, uh... Exit game. We're not on hard mode, are Oh, I didn't say continue. Will this put me back in on the same... Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. Okay, new run. Uh, yeah, we're still I, in normal. I like Isaac. Is this guy any good? Lazarus? I beat the game with her. The run where we beat the game? Mm -hmm. I guess I'll beat Lazarus. Alright, we've got a knife. One of us has played as this guy before. You have one life. Um, oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, see, he's like a resurrection thing. I was talking about how that's yeah. what Lazarus is. Oh, some room. Nice, thanks. <laughs> oh, some room. Great. Spiders that are gonna die in one room. And giant bomb. Yeah, let's see. When I used to come home from school, it was when you were watching Ghost what, Extreme Ghostbusters, uh, Animaniacs was on. The Mask, the animated series. Men in Black, the animated series. Reusable card generator. I don't the know world. if I do. The world. Are you gonna get that? Oh yeah, kill? I guess I'll, I'll grab that too. Question mark? Oh, gave me a map. Oh down. Indeed. Sorry. I should have known. Yeah, you should have known. It's usually better to grab the pills whenever you can. Yeah. But uh, Animaniacs was was probably the highlight of my day when I came home from school. That was one of the that was one of the shows that was that like it's it's any age can really enjoy that show. It's not yeah. It's not like uh, Thundercats or Ghost old oh, Ghostbusters and like, those yeah. shows are pretty bad to watch now if, if you're an adult. Hey, you can see a secret in there, top right corner of the map. Yeah, you're right. Did you get something? I wonder if maybe that's... Oh, that was the world. I used the tarot oh. card called the world, and it did that. Cool. Yeah, I was just thinking about the same thing, because I've been sort of on this Avatar kick, and that's also a show that any age can appreciate and love. It's like a Pixar film, you know? It hits all the right notes, it appeals to all the right emotions. It does a really good job. But Animaniacs is classic. There was that. Isn't that where Pinky and the Brain started, too? Yeah. And that spun off into its own show, I guess. Yeah. I think it was better as a short, but I think it was a pretty good show. I don't yeah. remember watching that much of the of the dedicated... Oh, come on. I didn't think he was going to do that. I don't remember too much about it. Oh, he's really charging me. Wow. We've seen a lot of this guy tonight. Tonight, this night of our Lord. He just bounced off the wall at me. He's kind of a jerk. I just find it really embarrassing to get hit by him because his patterns are very easy. Yeah, they are pretty easy, but at the same time, I don't know. I think I have some 
some issues with the the, the spatial, like the 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 layers here. You know, like uh, I have trouble judging where the shots are gonna go. I find myself taking damage more than I should. HP plus la cup. All right, and you got a pill. You wanna play? Uh, just play for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna use this pill, and it gave you some hearts. Cool. I hope I don't kill you. All right, let's see. What would Joey do? He'd probably go in here, but I won't do that. Yeah, I got it. You all good? Right. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know what uh, what that was about. You don't. Oh, good spiders. Yeah, not really worth it. Yeah, really worth it. Good Lose going. those hearts. Fantastic. Yeah, I really don't like getting hit by that boss, that, that, uh, the shit boss. Yeah, he's frustrating to get hit by, because it feels, uh, feels like it should be easy to dodge. It's easy to get out of dodge. You ever had to get out of dodge before? Like a car? Yeah, you ever had to do it? Uh, don't do it hurts like hell. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? It's green. Look at that guy. He's green. Get out of Dodge, man. Doesn't that mean, like, get out of town because you're being you're wanted for murder? I don't know. For the murder of my ex-wife? Oh, another movie that I saw. Not that recently, but pretty recently. Yeah. The first time. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. You ever seen this I movie? I have never seen that. I've heard. I have yeah, to. It was really... Yeah, I was really surprised because most most of the time, old movies, anything from like the '80s or before, is usually like I don't know. I usually don't the like 80s. them. '80s, like old movies. I guess. I usually don't like them. Ghostbusters are from the '80s. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen that in a long time. Star Wars are from the '70s and '80s. Yeah, I guess um, Star Wars is okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just okay. No, I, I see what you mean though. I don't know. I like newer movies better. They 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 look they look better and. I think uh, filmmaking has evolved a lot. Yeah, that's as well, you know, just like games. Yeah. Now you make a good. Point. Like I've seen Citizen Kane. It's boring as hell. <laughs> oh, what was I gonna say um, about older movies? Oh, Twelve Angry Men. I. Uh, it's black and white. It's really old. It is fantastic. Oh really? It's the first. Well, maybe not the first, but uh, you know, how Clerks is just a bunch of people talking. Yeah. It's that. It's shot in a single room, and the 12 angry men are, are jurors on a uh, jury panel. And it's just them talking for two hours. It's two cents. Oh, I need another cent. <laughs> I need a bed. And there's a hidden room there to your right. Oh, yeah. It's busted open. To oh, come on. Oh, I great. A cent. I'm paying you no cent. But as long as we're on the topic of uh, movies that we haven't seen, because I haven't seen The Good, Bad, The Ugly, I have not seen The Godfather. Have you? Rando, buddy. Uh, yeah. Hey, you should use your pill generator. Oh yeah, the Hanged Man. Cool. Nobody. Oh, I don't just ask for that room. one room. That sucks. Yeah. It was a lousy, lousy. I guess I can't get a coin. All right, let's just go to this boss. Do it. Oh, good, bad, and ugly. A plus. Go see it. A plus. Go see it in okay. the movie theater. Really? In the movie theater. Where are they showing it? It's like I love it. I love the 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 shots they picked. The pacing. It's a little slow, but I I kind of like slow pacing in the right movie. It's done well. Is it a western? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the western, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. I think my dad really loved that movie. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a good movie for for old men, young men, really just men in general, and some ladies. My wife likes it too. Huh. Well, she likes like a lot of movies. That's a pretty good review you're giving it, though. I'm impressed. Maybe I'll have to uh, see it's, if I can find a copy. It's really long. It's also How really long? long. It's probably because of the slow storytelling, the like, slow pacing. Like two and a half hours? I think it's almost three hours long. Whoa! See, for, I don't, I don't remember, I didn't look at any, like, times for how long it was, but it felt like three hours. Wow. That's really long. Alright. It must be worth it, though. It's a classic. <laughs> what? Oh, go to the devil's room. Rotten meat. Alright. Get some rotten meat. Uh, I'll pay a heart for a puppet. He wants to take your life. Hmm. <laughs> All right. But who knows what that does? Yeah. Nobody knows. That's great. Have you seen um, Scarface? Yeah. I have not. 
not not as high of a recommendation as most of the other movies we've talked about. Okay, good episode. to know. It's uh, it has some really awesome scenes in it though, that are really worth seeing. Well, uh, mainly the last one. If you want, it's, I, I would recommend just watching the last scene. Okay, uh, it's the one like that's fast, been parodied yeah, over and over and yeah, over. Yeah, just fast forward through the whole movie, and then and <laughs> watch. Fast forward through the whole. Yeah, movie? fast forward it. Why don't I just look it up on YouTube? Yeah. Fast forward like I'm watching it on a VHS Yeah, like, just watch like the last 20, 25 minutes of the movie. All right. We'll do it. It's 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 another one that's like, it just has a lot of scenes that I think they could have cut it down. Like that's an example of a movie I think that's too like Good, Bad, and Ugly has really slow pacing, and I think it's done well. Like I'm I'm not a movie uh, expert, so I don't know the right terms to say and all that stuff, but but. Uh, I'm reviewing Scarface here, <laughs> one of the one of the most loved movies of all time. That's all right. I, I shouldn't have asked you to review it. I'm kind of kind of forcing you to do this. You know, no, I I, I I like it though. Okay. You know, recently, I found my copy of uh, Kung Pao, and True the Fist. Yeah, I remember. That. I I remember that being really funny, but I don't know if I would still think it was funny. It's been so long yeah, since I, was I saw just, it. I was just gonna say we really enjoyed it when we were younger, but. I'm afraid to watch it. Yeah, again. it feels like one of those movies that that you might uh, really hate. That you might have like your 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 sense of humor might have changed. Yeah. And also like just humor might have changed over time, just in general. It has over the last ten years. Like things that were funny ten, twenty years ago are not really funny anymore. Or you know, they're they're either played out or they're they're just like foreign. It's weird how comedy changes over over time. Like, I was trying to read a comic from the 50s that was supposed to be a, a like, a, not a few years ago, but that was supposed to be, like, a funny comic, and I couldn't, I, I couldn't follow it. Like, I couldn't even, I didn't even understand what they were saying. <laughs> really? The way, yeah, like, the, the grammar was, like, different or something, what? and it was supposed to be funny. I didn't, I didn't understand it at all. I, I couldn't read it. Where did you find this comic? Uh, I went to a, a comic school, so there was a lot of comics around. You went to a comic school a couple days ago? No, 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 like a couple years ago. A couple years ago? Yeah. Oh, I see. A few years For some ago. reason, I thought this happened recently. Oh. So it's a diary. Oh, that's not too bad for this. Oh, yeah, really not. Oh. Really not. No, don't use it. Oh, I wasn't even looking. Oh, we more explosive diarrhea. Yeah. Let's get this guy. Let's get him. <laughs> get him like we're going to get H.C. Bailey. <laughs> but I love him. He just, uh, he just completed his Parasite Eve run. And how did it go? Well, he beat that green monster thing. I finally saw it. In one it. try? Yeah. I guess he well, he practices every game before he plays it, right? Yeah. Because uh, for years you've been telling me... Well, not for years, but years ago you told me about that green monster it's, yeah. that just catches up with you and if it touches you, you die. Yeah. And I never bothered to look it up until H.C. Bailey played it. And it's actually kind of it's kind of frightening the way he yeah, chases it's, you. It's really scary. Yeah. It's like you beat the ball, you beat the final boss, right? And then this is after the final boss. Two I think. Of diamonds. I wonder what that does. Jeez, this is a fucking tough room. What the wow. fuck? Oh, all right. I got a Lazarus. Another life. Cool. Get a pill. Yeah, I can. Or maybe it's, it's not a pill. Maybe it's a card generator. Oh my god. <laughs> well played. Cool. Cool. You want to do one? No, go ahead. Curse of the Blind. What is that? What? You yeah, also have a, job. You have a pill. No, oh, why did I start with a pill? Pheromone. I don't know. There's flies everywhere now. Oh, I got red, red oh. dots now. All right. I don't really like that they're red though. I wish that this game was a little more color coded. I think that's probably my my biggest uh, my biggest gripe. Yeah, I don't know about gripe. What's the word? The biggest, uh, you know, the lowest point of the game. The worst part about the game is, I think the color, the color palette. Like, I, I wish that they would have just stuck with like red for for enemy stuff only. Yeah, I see what you mean. When you're gonna have uh, enemies shooting at you and your your bolts are gonna right. Exactly yeah, most the same. most most shmups do that. They'll have everything you're supposed to dodge is a certain color, and everything you're supposed to get is another color. Right. That's it. There's right. there, like probably my favorite color scheme. In, in any shmup and possibly any game is Mushihima-sama Futari with uh, Bug Princess 2 in, 
in the States, but uh, I don't know if it ever came out on any console in this in the States except for phones. But anyway, it it's a schmuck. Phones? Yeah, it's not very good on on the phone. Like like uh, like uh, rotor, rotary rotary telephones? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you call them, and uh, it's like a choose-your-own-adventure over the phone. Yeah, and they talk you remember to you. those? On the phone? They used to have, like, a choose-your-own-adventure thing. You could call up a number if you were really bored no. and pay, like, I don't know, it was, like, a quarter or 50 cents a minute or something, no and way. it would, like, you'd press the keys to, to tell it what you wanted to do. Wanted to do. That's not real. That, that didn't exist. Yeah, it existed. It, it didn't exist I at all. I never called it because they didn't have 50 cents a minute to be that bored. Wow. But yeah, back then we didn't have as much uh, awesome free stuff on the internet. I was just thinking about, uh, remember when game magazines used to have those those crazy promotions where you had to do a puzzle and you send it in and you, uh, you're entered into this, this grand prize drawing of like $2,000 worth of video game equipment? I was just thinking about that. Yeah. When you mentioned the, uh, the phone service. And the Nintendo Hotline. Yeah, yeah. They charged out. My the dad wazoo. called that one time to well, find out how to beat. Yeah. How to beat something in I think Shadowgate maybe. Well, Nintendo games were hard, man. Cool. HP up. I lost oh. my I lost my train of thought. What were we talking about? There was something I was I was gonna say something really cool. I can't remember what it was. I don't know, but I just re I just realized what Curse of the Blind means. What's you, you what's have, huh? what's that? All the items were question marks. Oh, you don't know what the items are. Yeah. That's probably it, yeah. So I wonder if that lasts throughout the entire run or just that level. Probably just that level. Anyway, yeah, you were going to say something, but uh, yeah, I can't remember what now it was. you can't. I'm sure I'll remember it when I listen back to this for it. No, I'm not doing that. When I listen back to this to make our highlight clip. That's one of my jobs on the team of Game Soup is that I listen to every episode back, which I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired of doing it. Don't do it then. I hate, I hate the sound of my own voice. No, well, not really. It. But I'm used to it now. But if you don't hear the sound of your own voice on on recording and and you do it, it's a little startling because you never sound like how you think you sound. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You never really get over it. Mm, I don't have any coins. I hit double keys though, so maybe I'll do it now. That was a fun nice. jump. Well Does played. he jump far when I'm not getting that? I know what that is. Yeah. It's trash, that's what it is. Where are these bad guys at? There he is. So what were we talking about? I lost you, my train of thought as well. I lost your train of thought and my train of thought. Well, at least I have I have a train for both of us in my backyard called Snowpiercer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. When is that thing going to be uh, up and running? Anyway? It's already up and running. I've tested it out on the local the local train tracks. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I hired a. Did you get any? I don't customers? know. Whatever company that that can lift the train and put it on tracks. Amtrak. I hired one of those. Uh, let's go up here and right. use that key door that I... The key door? Wait, no, that's not the key door. I'm looking at the map instead of the... Yeah, okay. I knew I knew it would be a store. There's a, Yeah, there's another room. Is this oh. one... Oh, this one's got a... This one's got to be it. Oh, good. You can see your future! Wait, which one... What is this? Does this show you the map or is this the other thing? I don't remember. Use it. We just had it in oh. this episode. Yeah, we did. Earlier tonight. Yeah. But there's too many items, man. I can't keep track of all of them. Alright, I'll just do it. Oh, it gives you a tower. Oh, that's right, it's the tower card right. generator. We just had this in like the last run. The moon. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, it gives you like an item, like a random cool. item. Cool. Cool. And these things attack you, of course. Everything in this game attacks you at some point. Oh, so that was just a secret room here, and now I have to start the boss. Do I have to start him over again, or is, is he going to be... I guess I have to start him over yeah. again. Mm, I didn't get that far anyway, so... So the crystal ball just... It gave me a heart that time, though. That's it weird. gave you a tarot card. Yeah, it gave me a tarot card the first time. I thought it just gave you tarot cards. Hmm. Maybe it sometimes gives you a heart? I don't know. 
be interesting to, to find out. I would really love it if this game had a mod that, I mean, I guess it would take the fun out of it, but it told you what items did. Yeah, like exactly without yeah at, without any uh, cryptic at the very least descriptions. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, when you pick them up, so you might you would still pick up bad things because you didn't know what they did, because otherwise it wouldn't be very fair. You could you could just easily avoid all the bad stuff and get all the good stuff, but I don't know. Speed up, size down. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> you have pheromones again, whatever that is. Eh, spectral buddy. I'll take that. Cool. So far, so good. Aww. He's a little wiener. That'll do. How you love to fight. Whoa. Damage up. That looked like a dead cat's head. I think it was a chihuahua, actually. Oh, and his name was Cricket. Maybe it was a cricket. It, I don't said, know. it said Cricket's head, but it didn't say like a Cricket's head. It said Cricket's head, like it's well, a proper the name, name of the so. maybe the name of the, the dog. dog is Cricket. Yeah. Whoa. These look mean, but they're not really that hard. Yeah, as long as they don't shoot anything at you, they're not that bad. It seems to be the case. You gonna get that coin? Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that happen. Alright. Oh, mm, don't you dare! Probably don't want that. Mm -mm. It's probably like a Contra flamethrower type of thing there. Nobody wants that. Nah, the flamethrower in Contra is the worst. I don't remember what it even did. I don't think I ever... It's not like it. a loop-de-loop -loop oh. shot that never seemed to reach yeah. the enemies. Yeah, it's all about the spread gun in the first contract. Oh, of course, yeah. No other weapon will do. Maybe machine gun. Yeah, I was just going to say, machine gun's fine. But, I mean... If you wind up getting hit and, and you find a machine gun. Yeah. But come on, spread gun beats all. Yeah, I used to try to beat the game without getting hit all the time. Well, I did beat you the did. game without getting yeah. hit, but I... I would get really pissed when I would lose the spread gun because there's only I think three spread guns in the game. Oh really? Yeah, Actually, there's not. Maybe there's more than that. I, I used to know the exact number, and of course I knew exactly where they appeared and everything. But if I got hit, especially if I wasn't near a place with a spread gun, I just get I get really pissed. Yeah. Well, it sucks to lose it and restart. I mean, there's yeah. one right at the beginning of the game. When it's you're trying to beat the game that. without getting hit, like, yeah. you just keep. Re I just kept restarting at one. At, there was a point where it wasn't that fun to me to beat it with, unless I would beat it without getting hit. <laughs> so I would just, I would just consider it like game over if I got hit once. Wow, it's pretty hardcore. I don't think I would have the patience to do that because it's, it's so much better with the spread gun. You really need it. Yeah. It seems like uh, otherwise you don't really have good control of where you're shooting. I mean. You, only, you can only shoot in, what, eight directions, I guess, right? So, which I guess is okay, but for a game like that where you really need full control, it helps to have a, a weapon that spreads. Now, that's just my take on it. I don't even know if that's true. I'm going to use my crystal ball here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sometimes it gives you a heart. That's pretty cool. nice. Pretty neat and pretty nice. Is this going to be... There's a secret room. Where am I on that? I'll use a key. Whoa. I heard so good plus five points. Okay. Cool. To your right. Oh, yeah. uh, cool. Well, well, I just, just got, got five bombs, bombs so yeah. might as well take a look. Money, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Six coins for bomb. Cool. Is there, there was no shop here, though, right? Mm, no, but it looks like there's one. Oh, yeah, up there's here. one up top. Yeah. Why is my map revealed? Did I get something that revealed the map? I guess so. I guess you did. Okay. Mm. I'll just use it. <laughs> Bad guess. Good. Uh, oh, you can get that. I don't need that hard. Soul hard, yes. so hard yeah. yeah. Not bad. What's, what's this one? Steam, steam sale. Useful. Oh, yeah, Steam sale. That's right. <laughs> now we don't need that. Nah. Uh, we already did the. Should I keep. I guess I'll explore it. 
Oh, I'd have to bomb through to get there. Though. And I already did the battle room. Yeah, there's just two rooms down. Just yeah, looking at the right. map here. Yeah. Oh, that cost me half a heart. Oh, maybe not. Get a heart anyway. Oh no, I can't get that heart though. You're right. Right, yeah, yeah. You cannot. Hey, a bomb though, that's worth it. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, sure, just lock me in this dead end room with nothing in it except for bad guys. Maybe I'll get something out of it though. <clears throat> Like yeah. a, a scent, a single scent. Yeah, I charged up my my shot, my uh, my crystal ball though. Oh yeah, a couple of charges. Yeah, oh, I think really? it's I think it's every room you clear. Okay, for good. sure. Uh, he wants keys. I don't got them. Mm. Uh, nothing. Oh, you got nine bombs. I do have nine bombs. So yeah, let's just give this give this a go. Do it, do it. Whoa, press the key. It feels, feels just lucky. I guess it just raises your luck, maybe. Yeah, probably. The hux. Oh, I'm sorry, the husk. This mostly like an ads type of guy, or yeah, you your shots are destroying him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You do, nice. You're doing a ton of damage. This is great. Yeah, I kind of want to clear ads. Not to jinx it or anything. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, better call Saul is coming is coming on for the first time. Not coming back. Coming on for the first time. Very soon. Tears and shot speed up. Nice. Oh, this is good. That's great. Yeah, I like this. All right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, the the initial reviews by uh, the the I don't know the few media outlets that have gotten the chance to watch the first three episodes have been very positive. So, which is great for Bob Odenkirk. That's his name, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I never I never thought I would uh, that he'd be in the best show. Yeah, because one of the best shows. You were ever. a big you were a big fan of his before he was even on Breaking Bad. Yeah. Like, He's a, he's you used to watch game. Mr. Show. Yeah, and that's actually coming back too. Wait, Mr. Show is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he confirmed it. There's something new with the show in this year. Is it going to be David Cross and Bob Odenkirk again? I don't know. I didn't read the article. I just saw the headline. So many keys. This is going to be an expensive. Don't do it. Or do it. I don't care. What's the cheapest way to do this? Let's see. It'll cost me. This is going to be really expensive. Yeah, it better be worth it. Oh, not at all. Nah. Oh well. Wait, I got the heart. That was weird. Yeah, that was, that was really weird. You need some hearts now. Wait, okay, those take a whole... Oh, I was thinking that the spikes only took half a heart. Yeah, that was de that was definitely not worth it. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, I'm going to ruin runs, though. This is a good run. I yeah, got going in now. It is. I got another key. Hmm. I guess I'll go in here. I got yeah. five bucks. There you that. go, bucks. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta make up for that, that screw up now. You will. All right. Well, Maybe. at least I got a not too difficult boss. Yeah. You do so much damage. Jeez. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely got a little lucky there. Oh, HP there you up. Go. Nice. Just what you needed. It's a good. That's a good. Good power up to get here. Yeah, man, tears up. That's the way to do it. Whoa, look at the map. Look at the map. Item multiplier. Okay. That's great. And it shows you where the secret room is and everything. Whoa. What are these? Oh, they're gomers. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're so weird looking. Is it supposed to be like a... Like a living thing or like a body part or something? Everything in this game is based on something. Yeah, everything in this game is very visceral. We've talked about the binding of iPhone being very visceral. 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 Yeah, everything's a, everything's a body part, and the gameplay is also a body part. Visceral. Yeah. <laughs> the gameplay is also a body part. Oh, this guy. Is he, does he charge? I think he's probably going to charge, but he's got a mean face instead of the goof face, so. There those we are the go. One, these are the charging ones. They seem to have more hit points. I would think these would go down 
in like one of these shots. You keep getting this pill. Yeah. So weird. Oh, okay. Oh, they're charmed. They're hurting each other, I think. Oh, whoa. Here they are. That's cool. Uh, but no, they're... Whoa. Now they're just swarming you. At least they're pretty slow when they do that, though. Game some quick reviews. Oh, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. I'm sure it'll be uploaded by the time you see this video. Are you going to do that one first? Probably. I tend to do them in uh, sequential order, but I'm still a little bit behind because we've recorded so much recently. Yeah, we and, recorded uh, a lot over... You had a, a break from... Uh, school? School. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were going to tell a lie there. I was, think, I was trying to think of a funny lie to tell, but yeah, let's just tell the truth. Yeah. There's a secret room. That you missed. Oh, oh, I was just, oh, yeah, never mind, I was never just mind. going heading down. I guess um, I could get, should have probably got the secret room first, because there's probably yeah. something I can use in there. Yeah, probably got roughly, mm, I want to say 10 hours of content to render and upload, but I have to render overnight, and I have to set it up. So, there's a little bit of legwork involved in game soup. Yeah, but by the time you see this, that, uh, that review should be out. And the review is for, should we say it? Yeah. Yeah, it's for Far Cry 4, for P PC, PS4, and what, X-Bone, I guess? Yeah. I reviewed the PS4 version, because that's the one I had. And you can see me playing it. Yeah, I didn't realize that the PS4 had uh, yeah. capture, capture like that. Reusable Kitty. airstrike. Whoa. Wait, does it reset my... I think they have separate. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it holds them. I really like this, though. Yeah. Why don't you get it and grab see what it, it does? Grab it, use it, and then... And then yeah. spray it back, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh, that is pretty that's, good. It's not bad. Maybe I will keep this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I'll just keep this. Plus it recharges so quickly. Yeah, it's only two char two charges. So you can do it in every couple of rooms. Yeah. You can use oh, it on shit. the boss. Oh, you don't want to go in there. I was like, where's the enemies here? I'm looking around for enemies, <laughs> and I'm getting sucked into a pit. Uh -oh. These guys are fast. Yeah, jeez. Uh, Alright, I'm charged up. Is there any more rooms? Yeah, plenty. Oh, there's a ton more rooms. Jesus. I guess I'll go for them. There's hearts everywhere, so it. if I if I get if I get beat up a little bit I can refill my hearts. So yeah. I think it's probably worth it to explore in this one. Alright, we got a new room here. <laughs> Yeah, probably not worth it for one guy like that. I was thinking I was gonna have to kill the other guys though. Jeez. Oh god. Uh, if I stay here, I can't get hit. You also can't kill them. Yeah. Oh, I wish they killed each other. That'd be really funny. Oh, whoops. I hit the wrong button. Played it safe there. Oh, uh, yeah. I will definitely do a battle room. For a key? Yeah, maybe not worth it, but... Maybe you'll get something... Do you get something out of the battle room, like an uh, item or something? Can you? I don't remember. Uh, I think you, you dropped a coin last time, but sometimes it drops, like, a crappy item. Usually yeah. the box is, like, random. It can be crappy or good. Yeah. And this thing was kind of crappy, but... Oh, well, at least the, uh, the fights are pretty easy. Yeah, this one has been pretty easy so far. This game is really weird, man. Really weird. Alright. I guess that's yeah, it. I didn't get anything. Yeah. I got my airstrike. I guess I'll use that in the next room. Pretty important, yeah. Oh, you can move uh, it! Yeah, it does. It moves. Whoa! That's interesting. How do you control it? I'm not sure. <laughs> huh. Just started moving. Did you use the right stick at all? No. Not. Why would you? For this game. Huh, I wonder. Uh, I can get a... Oh, I don't need a heart. Oh, surprise, boss. Wow, they go down fast. Jeez. 
challenge, challenge up. up. Uh, how would I take that? Yeah. <laughs> how would I how would I take my lucky key? Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, just murder him. Oh, God. Oh, when you get hit, though, you get... You lose money. You get... No, I th you, oh, you lose it? You drop it? Um, yeah, it's... it's. Uh, I guess. Your greed. I mean, your fighting greed, I imagine, oh, makes you drop yeah, money. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Ah. I get some money. He always drops money himself. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. This is one thing I yeah. don't want. I grabbed that by mistake. You're still just looking at the room. map here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, great. Take two keys for a mom. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Now we're heading... In the boss. Bomb. This was a long was. floor. Yeah, it was. Is this a labyrinth? I don't no. know. Wait. What makes it a labyrinth, anyway? If you have a map... It has a lot of rooms. It's never really a labyrinth. As long as oh, I have... Map. What was in here? Oh, the crystal ball. Mm. Nah. We'll keep the air straight. I'm not really sure how it works, though. I guess we'll learn. I, I didn't know so. that you could aim it. Good luck. I don't know how I did that. Oh, maybe maybe it was the shot. It might have been the shots. The, sh the shot uh, keys. Buttons, whatever. Oh, like the face buttons? Yeah. Hmm. Bummer. I wish you could recharge it now. That's all right. You're, you're killing him. You're slaughtering him. Doing a fine job. Oh, he does that sometimes. I can go back and get one of the many hearts that oh, are yeah. in the level. Seriously. The itch my eyebrow. Which one? Uh, I got it. <laughs> I was gonna do it. I won't be able to see though. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really unpredictable when he, Well, I'm sure yeah. he has a tell for when he does it, but I'm like, I was watching the flies instead of watching him. It, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. You're dodging all this stuff. You got a lot to look out for. Oh, look. You don't even have to go back for hearts. There's that bag that I missed. <gasps> Tears up. Whoa! Wow. Cool. You're set, man. That's You're really set nice. for life. $10,000 a week for life. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember those ads. Or, no, I guess it was just a thousand. Yeah, a thousand a week for... Yeah, it's still... More than I make. Wow. Murder these dudes. So the more we play this game, the more I enjoy it. I find. Arcade. Yeah. We're yeah. going to the arcade. Good. The Game Kid. All right, so we can trade hearts. Oh, don't play this. You will never win. Middle. Uh, I'm always wrong. Oh. Are you a wizard? Doesn't that show you all the secret areas in the, in the floor? Like, when you enter the room? I think it does. Maybe. Oh, good. You're uh, breaking even here. It's like, no, you ain't breaking even. Oh, good. Oh, That's like the I guess I'll hold that one. Where are all these pills of pheromones coming from? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, that's the one that shows you the secret rooms. I don't know what Are You a Wizard does. Great. Why is that in a pill? <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if, um... If uh, there's a heart this way, I can trade yeah. a heart for two bucks some coins. Because you, know, you keep getting the same pills over and over. I wonder if it chooses like only a small pool of effects out of all the possible pill effects, and Maybe, you just keep yeah. getting them. Because before I was thinking that it would have all of them that you could get at any time, but you've gotten pheromones I think six or seven times. So maybe it's that, like maybe that, and just a couple others. You know, just see repeats. These aren't the most interesting things to watch. Oh, I get to keep going. <laughs> it's actually, I think that the the rate reduces. The rate of getting good stuff. 
Hey, look, you're getting all these repeats. Yeah, it seems like it. Right, right now. It wouldn't really be gambling if you could uh, make a profit on it, I guess, that easily. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it keeps giving the same thing yeah. over and over again. It must just be... Maybe it's based no, on the just, floor or something. Just go. All right. Uh, I think it's wrong for that. Should have done that earlier. I wasn't paying attention. Whoa. <laughs> that's, that's you are it. you are set uh, for life. Are there hearts? There were hearts in that room up there. Mm. I guess I'll just get hit. All right. Oh, great! Worth it. Worth it. Yeah. That usually happens at the beginning of a run. Yeah, that I, took away my soul hearts too, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, I guess better now than at the beginning. At the beginning, it might have cost you the game. Now it's just an annoyance. But I'm more invested now. Hey, there you go. There's a secret, secret room. Just for you. Yeah, I should be able to see secret rooms. Uh, no, I don't need that. And, okay. Oh god, more boss? What if, I have never seen this. Oh, oh no! Uh, not 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 really a good idea. No. <laughs> but who knew? Are these scrotai? They look like scrotai. Scrotums? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I guess that's not the plural for scrotai. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. So that probably was not a good idea. Well. See, some really interesting level layouts here. A uh, bomb for a bomb. Mm. No, there's a secret room. Yeah. I'm just trying to not get hit by these purples. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. More of... I think we know what most of these are. Oh, we don't know what this one is. Though. Oh, cool. Oh, full health. But is that what this... No, no. that's not what that is. 48-hour energy. Oh, that's mm. not that useful. Health up. Health up. Oh, great. But <laughs> should use the full health after that, if only we'd known. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I don't need any of these. All right, I'll just, just bring the pheromones with me. As you never know when you might need them. I can use my... Oh, there's a heart down here, though. Might as well grab it. That's a big heart. I should get that first. Whoa. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to do here? There's no enemies, you can just leave. I'm just thinking about, do uh, I want to grab any of these? You can go things? diagonally get the key, then go diagonally to open the chest, but I guess it didn't work. Nah. Great. Nah, when the thing's pulling you, you probably can't really do a whole lot. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I mean, you have so much of everything now. Yeah. Wow. What is that? Charm, charm tears. tears. Oh, that's cool. So it probably randomly gives a charm tear, maybe? That's great. Yeah, there it was. I just saw it. Nice. It's like a purplish color. Cool. Good. And now I need this. So that worked out. It's kind of a long run going on here. Yeah. Well, like, I guess the, the levels get longer as the uh, as you get farther down. Uh, I'm not going. I don't really feel like going back. Okay. Now I know what this guy does. Yeah, really. Just kill him. Oh, well, he's charmed. But there's nothing for him. <laughs> there's nothing to attack. So. Yeah. Murdered. I can't get it. You'll never right. know what it There's does. no way to get it. Nope. Yeah. Great. Wow. Yeah, they all red things in this game regen. When they die, they come back to life. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you gotta hit them a bunch more times. Oh, you're so close. Uh, I don't really need another key. Just get two coins. Try to come back. Or whatever. I don't know. Probably just skip it. Yeah, where's the boss at? Oh, there's another secret room. Yeah, up. and there's another room to your right. It's not a secret. Wait, I've, oh, oh, I've already been in this here. one, but it's. It's got the item. I'm gonna just grab it. Boss room. Yeah. 
Should I go for one more room? Sure. Got hearts back up, so. Oh good, another boss. Oh, it's this boss. It's not too bad. The M. <laughs> At least you're fully healed. You're ready for it. Oh man, if only you had your uh, remote bomb detonator charged. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Putting a little extra damage, but. That's alright. That's alright. You'll be. Okay. Hey, look, you can charm those guys. That's pretty cool. Oops. Wow. You didn't take damage. Yeah, just. I think I just barely dodged it. I think it was moving. I think if you're moving at all when, uh, when she does that, it doesn't hit you. So she, the, keep, yeah. she keeps calling for Isaac, but you're not Isaac. Yeah, I, I'm a different guy, right? You're that other dude. They all kind of start looking like weirdos after a while. Yeah. So once you get some power-ups, they all kind of wind up looking the same as they would if you had picked any character. Got it, you're so close. Boom! Demolished. Very good, sir. So that was just a skip? I get to skip all the way up to this point in the game? Seems like it. Yeah. Here we go, in utero, right? Utero. Great. Bleedingeyes.com. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. There's a Pokemon that looks like that, isn't there? Diglett. Nah, not Diglett. The, the one in the middle that has like a... Uh... Oh, um, Shuckle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shuckle. <laughs> That's the guy. Shuckle. Yeah. The underdog. The eternal underdog. He's kind of useless. Hmm. Worth yeah, it? Yeah, probably not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no at this point. Is there a... If there's any hearts, remind me to go back. If yeah. there's any extra hearts, if I round up with an excess of hearts. Oh, later God. On. Look at this screen, then you look away, and everything else is uh, colored very strange. Yeah. Kind of hurts. I'm going to bust this guy, and then I'm going to use my airstrike. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed. Oh, you're right at the boss. Oh, he's charmed. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so I found the boss. Oh, come what? on. Oh. Um, no. Are you going to go? I guess you're... No, you still have more to explore. Yeah, there's more to explore, but, you know, these are the harder levels. Oh. Mm. Those regen, don't they? Yeah. just wonder how fast they'll come back. I got hit anyway. I got too close. That was retarded. That sucks. Screw yeah. that. They take a whole heart from you. Everything here takes a Whoa. whole heart from you. Jeez. I don't need that. Okay. I keep getting fucking thrown off by... When I'm trying to aim my thing and um, I'm not paying attention to where I'm actually moving. Oh. You're not was, dead. You're not dead. Oh, shit. That was... Uh, he did it. Hmm. It's tense. Are there any hearts anywhere? Another boss! How about that? Dodge me. Get out of here. Wow, your shots got... Okay, he just came right out of the ground there. Looks like your shots just got massively upgraded. Maybe because I'm almost dead? Maybe. Oh, he's charmed. Oh, that's excellent. I don't think oh. they were like that. Oh. If I have one... Oh, yeah, I only have one heart because it's the... Res... She got bit dungeons. <laughs> that was unfair. That doesn't happen usually in Isaac, but I guess in this one. That's unfortunate. That was a really good run, though. Yeah, it was pretty pretty cool. 
Should we do another one? What do you think? Let's, let's get another run going here, shall we? Since you did so well with this guy, I'm gonna stick with him. What's his name? Billy Bob? Lazarus. Billy Bob. I'm gonna call him Billy Bob. Because why not? I don't like his haircut, though. So this is, uh... What, what episode number are we on now? I believe this is gonna be number seven. Seven? Unless... No, I thought I thought it was like eight or nine or something. It was like nine. Now we have six episodes uploaded, and the shorter one we did earlier tonight will, would be number seven. This, this would be number eight. Oh, this is eight. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, you! Don't like you! Don't like you! I. Really? Oh! Yeah? You sound like you have something important yeah, to say. Yeah, I have something really important to Let, say, actually. Let's why hear it. Why don't you... Pause it? Yeah, I thought there was going to be a uh, news section. A news segment. Okay. Do we have to do it in the middle of the game? <laughs> no. Just keep playing. <laughs> don't you pause it! I mean, we... we if... if if you want we, to. We, we should have... Uh, no, don't worry about it. Just do it later. It's not even that good either. <laughs> don't listen to this. <laughs> don't watch this. this don't watch the, this one. This no, is wa this was a pretty end. good one, actually. Just watch this one. It, if they've gotten to this point, they've already watched yeah, they're already the watched thing. It, so just keep watching. It's going to get good. We're going to get good. Some, this, yeah. this episode of Game Soup is going to get real good. It's going to get a lot more interesting than... Oh, that's... Did you see that? Yeah, that was cool. That was some shenanigans. I hope it blows up that box for you. Me too. And you get the mask. Oh, good. We were talking about Gary the Landscaper earlier. I want to that I hired him. He's not a, he's not a jerk. He's, know, he's a really pretty, nice guy. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, how, uh, why would you say that about, about Gare? He, uh, he cut down my bushes. I, I spent weeks sculpting my bushes and the, uh, yeah, they were supposed to be like in the shape of a giraffe and an elephant or something. Yeah, they looked he... terrible. <laughs> yeah, but I worked so hard on them. And he just tore them all down. Yeah, he thought that they were like all misshapen forms. Well, they, they and, and were. And he planted new bushes and they look a lot nicer. He cut them in a spiral like they do at a lot of these office buildings that you see. What? <laughs> I've never seen an office building that was cut in the shape of a spiral. No, no, I mean the... Uh, I mean, the, the plants are cut in the shape oh. of the spiral. You've seen this before. I, ha I have seen that, yeah. yeah they, I was they started really doing that in the 80s. They did? I, I don't know. It just made it up. <laughs> well, they probably did it earlier, earlier than that. You think gardening is only a 30-year-old profession? I mean, not gardening, but uh, what, what's that called? Landscaping? Yeah, the hanging gardening of, 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 range of the Babylonians. Yeah, that was a thing. Oh, you missed your devil room. Oh, no! Devil room. So yeah, Gary, yeah, he was, it was good to hire him, and uh, we also, yeah, this is what I was getting to, we hired uh, Allison Rosen to be our news girl. Who's that? From uh, the Adam Carolla show, she was recently fired. She was? From the Adam Carolla show because she stunk. Oh, Adam Carolla fired the her? The, the podcast, the Adam Carolla. Oh. Yeah, she was terrible. She had her own show, and it was a pretty bad show, too. Oh, well, what does she do? She's like a, a co-host? She reads the news or something on there. Oh, okay. Like what we were going to do. And we still can. We still can do it. We'll do it on the next game soup. Wish granted. Okay. These guys just kind of follow you around. Oh. So I thought that movie Nightcrawler was going to be... I, when I first saw it, I thought it was about the blue guy from Marvel Comics. Yeah, that's what I first think of. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I didn't hear about this. Usually you hear about those Marvel movies. Like, right away, they, it's, it's, there's ads for them everywhere, or, or, you know, every news site, or somebody tells you about it. Like, yeah. news comes out as soon as one of those movies is going to get... Like, there's going to be another Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, does anybody even that. like the Fantastic Four? Enough I, to... I, I, I kind of... I do. Enough to go see a film about it? There's already been several films about Fantastic Four. I like, uh, I like Mr. Fantastic... I think he's pretty cool. I like Mr. Incredible. But I guess you already knew that. Who doesn't like the Incredibles? Oh, okay. Yeah, I kinda I kinda think 
the Fantastic Four is pretty cool. Like the powers of the characters are pretty cool. You got a guy that controls fire. I drew a bunch of them for uh, sketch cards. What else you got? For uh, for Marvel. Oh yeah. So if you've ever bought a pack of Marvel trading cards, you might have gotten my artwork in there. <laughs> and it's worth a lot. So. Uh, I don't know. Maybe get, get it signed and sell on on eBay. Yo, chill out, bro. Uh, one coin away from being able to buy a heart in the shop. Fantastic. All right, let's go to this boss. Let's go to the BOS. BOS. Aren't there usually only two of these guys? Why are there three? Three is more complicated than two. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh. I'm trapped. I really needed some tears up. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because they're changing directions a lot with the... Constantly. With the, you know, the dew everywhere. They don't seem to have any pattern as far as when they change. It just seems totally random. I think it's when they hit a wall. When they hit something. Well, yeah, but what, what determines the, when the piles pop up? Isn't that, isn't it that comes random? out of their butt. But when? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I find it really, really hard to predict. I think they can change direction at any spot where there was a dew pile. I had tears up the whole... Did I just get that? I don't think I just got that. I think I've uh -huh. had that for a while. Tears up. Hold don't, up. Don't miss the devil room. That's not a devil room. That's the... Uh, oh, it's the boss room. That's yeah. right. Uh, do I have anything else? I guess not. All right. I guess we'll just head on down. I think maybe the keyboards. I think keyboard design could be a little different. Like if if things had changed, had developed differently over over the years. It's, you know, the space bar is big and shift is big and enter is big. I was thinking maybe they might have made the vowels also a different size or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, like that could have been like a different way that the keyboard could have developed, like on typewriters. Yeah. Or on keyboards. That makes sense. Time. Like, so that you could hit them more easily. I mean, the, the QWERTY model is already obsolete. Yeah. You know? It kind of makes sense. Jesus. What about the... Have you ever used uh, Dvorak? No, what is that? It's just a different layout for the keys. Is it just alphabetical order? No, it's not alphabetical. It's, uh... Oh. But, unlike QWERTY, which was done with the, the goal of slowing you down, Dvorak is... It, it, done with the goal of helping you speed up your typing. Oh. So, so it's like you have to learn how to type all over again. Yeah, but but everything is in logical places, you know, in respect to how close it is to your hand. I mean, you know, QWERTY, QWERTY on, on typewriters was designed to keep you from typing too fast, hmm. which is ridiculous. So that's really... Uh, it's obsolete. Hu human potential has been slowed down by that design for decades and it's Yeah, it's completely obsolete, and even if it wasn't obsolete, it's actually not good. It's actually hurting us. Yeah. Well, I still type while looking at the keyboard. Do you? Yeah. That's not even a lie. That's, uh, you know how we tell a lot of lies on Game Soup? Yeah. That's not a lie. Yeah, I look at the keys when I type. Did you have a typing class in school at all? Yeah, but I, I never learned how to do it properly. I can still type, like, I don't know how many words a minute. I can type really fast. I can type just as fast as... Just about as fast as anybody else, but I I'm, look at the keys when I do it. Yeah. I make a lot of typos if I don't look at the keys. Yeah, but, well, I can try. I can sort of type without looking at the keys. Like, it usually looks like it, but there's typos. What is that? I've never seen this before. So it's not just hand coordination, it's hand eye coordination to type. Right, right. Which is a much different skill. And kind of hard. Okay, there's nothing but money. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, next time we play Hearthstone, remind me to tell you the the next chapter of the the Torture Chronicles. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw those notes. I really want to. Oh, thank God! I, I really want to hear about that. Oh, great. Heartsforcoins.com Yeah, it's a story that I'm trying to forget, but I, I think I should probably get it out here on the... 
I think you should just tell it. Yeah, tell it. Get it out. Get it off your chest. And you'll be happy. I want to tell it during a Hearthstone episode, though. That's what, oh, it was like that killer blood. Okay. It's very much Hearthstone related. All right. I believe you. Lock up. I'll take it. So uh, we saw X Men: Days of Future Past. This is continuing movie reviews on this episode of Game Soup. This will be the movie review ep episode. We saw X Men: Days of Future Past. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a time travel movie, so you have to kind of turn your brain off. Yeah. But it's based on uh, a comic story arc of the same name. And the time travel didn't make sense then. It doesn't make sense now, but. Time travel that's, never makes sense. Yeah, that's though. not really. A, just, I don't. I don't really fault anything that uses any movie that uses time travel because it's impossible. It's never possible to really explain it. Yeah. I mean, most of the time, the me that mechanic, that mechanic is sort of in like the bigger picture, it's used within within a bigger story. It's not just about time travel because that would get really boring, you know. It's mostly about Wolverine, but it's called yeah. X Men because you see a lot of X Men. In it. There's a lot of X Men in it. But, yeah, um, but. He's the coolest one. Jesus, man. I'm gonna die here. Has anybody ever said Cyclops is my favorite X-Man? Nobody's ever said that. No. Is that true? I don't know. I've never heard anybody say it. Oh. I was wondering if you had. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow. That was close. Can't seem to hit him. I'm not liking this darkness thing. Yeah, this is rough. This is like Spelunky level. Yeah. Although I think I finally have his pattern down, more or less. Nope, I don't. Hey, you dropped the... Uh, wait, did I drop that? I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's that was impossible to see because he was in the dark up there and you're... Yeah. GG, you should have seen it coming. Dodge. Whew. Hey, is this is this your? No, this isn't your second life. You get a second life after this, right? Well, all right. I wish uh, wish I had some health here, but we'll see what happens. It's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, these guys uh, take a lot of hits. I can't seem to kill any of them. Wow. They explode. I liked your run. Jesus. Oh, there was a... You missed a box. I got, you got pushed in. I got pushed into this room. Fantastic. Fantastic yeah, this, this run... This run's going... Going down... Downhill. Yeah, kind of is. Sorry, man. It happens. I've seen a room really similar to this earlier tonight. Oh, that would be funny if you couldn't <laughs> get it, if it like, pushed it over the edge or something, just because the box could push it over or something like that. All right, come on. Don't fail me now. There you go. All right. All right you're doing all right. Don't 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 get too oh, cocky, God, though, you got, you got two and a half hearts. That's not, that's not too much for this point in the game. Yeah, but there's four of these guys. I can't do four of these guys. That's three more than one of them. I'm getting cocky. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Wow. I yeah, you got one more life. He's bloody. He's bloody. Whoa, I'm really fast now. There's a heart up there. No, okay, I thought you were gonna miss it. Are you really fast uh, because you came back to life or is it getting some else? It seems like it. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Is that a Minecraft pickaxe? Yeah, it looks like it. Nah, yeah, it is. Not Rocks don't stand a chance. So you can just smash the rocks repeatedly. So you get a reusable bomb or a... I guess it's probably just for the room that you're in, but I can't yeah. attack. Yeah, so I guess you gotta clear the room and then use it to make use out of it. No, I'll stick with the bomb. Yeah, it's up to you. Oh, okay, God. Uh, whoa. Huh. I really wish you could shoot diagonally in this game. This is gonna be a tedious room. So, uh, one more movie review. We saw the Captain America 2 
Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, how was that? It was good. Yeah, it was good. All these reviews we we did, we went kind of in depth with it, and then this one I'm just gonna tell you, it's good. Is it is it worth seeing? Yeah. Even as all, the, a, all these all these superhero movies are really good. Is it is it worth seeing for somebody who's never seen anything related to Captain America? Yeah, it's a it's a good action it's a good action movie. It's not the. Uh, it's the second one, though, right? Yeah. So do I have to see the first I one? I never saw the first one. Oh, really? Actually, yeah, because I don't really like Captain America that much. Oh, crap. I don't But I thought he was pretty cool in this one. Did you see that? Did you see yeah. these shenanigans? Yeah. Oh, okay. good. At least they're exploding themselves. There we go. Oh, I want that pill. Yeah, I like the Iron Man movies. Probably the, well, except for Avengers, but... I like the Iron you Man. You didn't movies. like Avengers? No, I did like Avengers. I, well, I liked it more. That's like the only one that I like more than the than the Iron Man movie. Oh, I see. Except for I didn't like the ending of the third Iron Man movie though. He destroyed all his robots. He did. So oh that's it? shit! Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's okay. the one that's been out for a while. Does that mean that he, he there's never gonna be another Iron Man? No, no, no. He I think he kept one of them. But oh. Let's go this way. It really sucked. Well, I really, liked, I really liked Guardians of the Galaxy. That was the only uh, superhero film that I saw this year. Oh, yeah, that was good, too. Yeah, we saw that, too. I'll give you a review on that. It was good. <laughs> it was really good. Even I liked it. Yeah. I don't like anything. Yeah, there's so many superhero movies now. They're, like, really capitali they're capitalizing on yeah. the popularity of it. Yeah, they Especially really Marvel. Cannot buy anything. Yeah, they really are. But, like, they're still good. They're, they're still doing a good job with them. Like, they're all... As long as they can still be enjoyable, right? Who cares? And there's been tons of bad ones. Yeah, there used to be. But they were mo almost all bad before, and yeah. now they're like almost all good. I wonder why. I guess they, they probably have a lot of the same creative minds working on them. Oh, those pheromones. Yeah. Like, uh, what, Joss Whedon did... What did he do, Avengers? Yeah, he just did Avengers, didn't he? Did he do another one? Uh, well, he's, I guess he's doing the sequel. I don't really yeah. know. I think he just did Avengers. I don't know. I don't keep track of the writers that much. Oh, I don't either. I just want to kill this guy. I want him to know how much I dislike him. Yeah, the reason why I didn't like the end of Iron Man 3 was because he gave up all of his all of his robots for Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, really? Because like, she wanted him to. Ew, who would do that? Yeah. God. Get that range. Range up. He's like... He's like supposed to be like a alpha, you know? He's supposed to be like an alpha guy, like the most alpha guy, like over the top uh, caricature of an alpha guy. Yeah, but he's... But he gives up but the, at the end of the third movie. He's like, does the opposite Whoa. of a alpha move. What a chump. Yeah. We're, what? Okay. Uh, I'm bleeding. I'm like dripping <laughs> blood. Yeah, I don't know. I won't see Iron Man 3. I didn't see the second one. But I will see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. There is there is going to be a sequel, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this guy. Hey, chill out, chill out. I really need to kill this boss. Oh, there's ads popping up. Come on, ads. In those Thor movies, those are even good. I haven't seen those. Are those actually those are good too? Yeah. Oh my god. Aren't they like sort of all interrelated anyway? Like yeah, they are. They kind of. You don't need to. You could see. You can really see any of them, even like a sequel. Before you see other ones, they're not. They're not that. There's not that much continuity involved. They're each. Their own. Uh, their own contained story. No. Oh. Dropped all these hearts, but I can't get any. Yeah, I know. It really stinks. Oh, good. What? Aww. <laughs> this run stinks. <laughs> you keep having bad luck. I mean, it's still going, I guess. It's gonna end very soon, though. Tears up. Don't, don't mind if I do. Sure. Or if you do. Better than nothing. Ed's the one playing this one, and I just told him that his run stunk, and I kind of feel bad about it. No, it's alright. I haven't had a good run. Whoa. I haven't had a good run tonight. I had one halfway decent one, but we haven't had a clear. We haven't had a clear since episode four. I think it was yeah. the first time we cleared it. We just never cleared it since. It's been uh, it's been a while. We gotten a couple close ones, but 
I wonder what it's going to take for us to really be able to just clear this consistently. We just have to play it a lot. We've, yeah. Every run that we've done on this game, well, every time I've ever played this game has been on Game Soup. I never played it by myself. It's out for PS4 on the PlayStation Network. You can buy it. Really? Yeah. Well, careful. You're getting pulled. Uh, do I want to go through here? I guess I do. Nope! Don't want to go through here. No, this isn't a very nice room. No, no, no. Just shoot no. him, kill him quick. I can't. I can't. I'm trapped. There you go. Whoa. Was that luck or... Oh, you just... <laughs> you just blew yourself up. Blew myself up. Well, that was a rough way to end the episode, I guess. I love this sad music, though. It's so wistful. Yeah. Anyway, go see Iron Man 3. And all the other movies that we've recommended. Mm -hmm. Snowpiercer, A. Nightcrawler, A. X-Men Days of Future Past, uh, A minus. Captain America 2, B plus, A minus. Frank, F. For Frank. Yeah. All right, this has been Game Soup Movie Reviews. Any final words? Nope. <laughs>